You honor us with your presence here. Oh, hi. You must be that medic robot they were talking about. Please state the nature of the medical emergency. Do you think you can initiate a triage protocol? Medical procedures initiated. Administering treat. Error, error. Sawbones has damaged you. Ow, ow, that hurt. What the hell? There has been an error in the medical subsystem. Please run a level two diagnostic. What was that? You hurt me. Something must be wrong with you. There has been an error in the medical subsystem. Please run a level two diagnostic. All right, all right. Run a level two diagnostic on the medical subsystems. Command accepted. Beginning level two systems diagnostic. Please stand by. Diagnostic complete. Results indicate a level 7 degradation in neural pathway 0x63a82. No further information available. What is that pathway responsible for? Neural pathway 0x63a82 governs the motor control interface bridging the main medical software and the unit's manipulator arms. The current damage level would cause erratic behavior, potentially forcing the unit to behave outside of design parameters. Wait, that's a bit of a security flaw. Couldn't I just reprogram you to kill everyone? Negative. The Mr. Gutsy field medic model isn't capable of harming human beings through intentional action. Oh, well that's a huge difference from the normal Mr. Gutsy. Uh, run that diagnostic again, please. Command accepted. Beginning level 2 systems diagnostic. Please stand by. Diagnostic complete. Results indicate a level 7 degradation in neural pathway 0x63a82. No further information available. Alright, uh, close neural pathway 0x63a82 and reroute remaining functions. Neural pathway 0x63a82 rerouted through neural pathway 0x374e82. Stand by. Full motor functions restored. Diagnostic reveals no critical failures. Asshole. Alright, well, try initiating the triage protocol again. Medical procedures initiated. Administering treatment. Please stand still. Medical procedure complete. Further instructions? All right. I feel better this time. That seemed to work. Acknowledged. All right, bye. Unit deactivating. This troop is hitting the rack. Let me ask you. Uh, I'm going to try to get into that terminal over there. I'm really curious about these medical records. Can we take these enclave guys? Hey, Sawbones, you dumb son of a bitch. This is Glade. I hacked your terminal again. Now change your password before I delete all your stupid robot poetry. Blech. Casualty report. Paladin Blanchett, honorable death in combat. Paladin Redden, honorable death in combat. Paladin Stein, MIA, presumed dead, honorable death in combat. Paladin Sawagachi, honorable death in combat. Knight Casterly, honorable death in combat. Knight Otoro, suicide. Knight Ianelli, honorable death in combat. Knight Kennard, honorable death in combat. Knight Patriarchus, MIA, presumed dead, honorable death in combat. Initiate Verona, MIA, presumed dead, honorable death in combat. Initiate Ruo, honorable death in combat. Initiate Quintana, MIA, presumed dead, honorable death in combat. Initiate Porter, honorable death in combat. Initiate Loring, Training accident. Investigation pending. Initiate Jennings. Honorable death in combat. Wow, protecting people from the super immunes has actually been taking a huge toll on them. Notes on Pendleton appendectomy. 
Rotary saw was effective, but suturing the incision proved ineffective. High intensity heat cauterization proved successful. Operation outcome, success. Patient pain discomfort level, irrelevant. Probability of future procedure, 100%. Wait, he used a buzz saw and, like, a flamer on an appendectomy? That's awful. I'm glad I fixed him. Hovering contemplatively. A poem. Brotherhood of steel, blood is red. Ionic medical pulse beams are blue. Steel is better than flesh. And artificial intelligence subprocessors are, too. Well, he's still a jerk, but I never expected to see Mr. Gutsy poetry. Guess he has a soft side to him. Working on some new power armor. Caution is advised. All right. Oh, these are the barracks. I should probably put put the posters up in here. Having placed flyers in the mess hall and barracks, you're done with the Citadel. Alright, that's good. Got it done. Welcome, brother. GNR soldier rotation. Due to the increased supermune activity in the vicinity of GNR and the importance of that outpost, all knights and paladins can expect to be added to the patrol rotation in that area. See your squad leaders for more information. Important Squire Maxon Bailey access. By order of Elder Lion, Squire Maxon is not to be given unsupervised access to the Bailey while live fire practice is in effect. Lion's Pride recruiting. Due to the tragic death of Paladin Redden, Lion's Pride now has one opening, effective immediately. If you can't shoot an ugly from 150 yards blindfolded, don't waste my time. Sentinel Lions. <sighs> you too, Sarah. Helping the people of the Wasteland is of the utmost to the Lion's Doctrine. Oh, is that what it's called? Oh, this is Squire Maxon's terminal. I've been meaning to ask you. I should check I'm it out. Listening. Hi, Squire Maxon. How's the best kid in the Citadel doing today? Diary Entry 1 Stupid scribe Rothschild in his stupid lab. All I wanted to do was talk to the robot and see if he'd be my friend. So what if he can't walk? He wanted to talk to the giant McCarthyist robot. <laughs> Diary Entry 2 Yesterday, Sarah taught me how to kill a man by stabbing him in the kidneys. I think I'm in love. She is way too old for you, and Sarah, that is incredibly irresponsible. Guns and Bullets. Farkas doesn't know I've been reading his copy of Guns and Bullets, and I should probably keep it that way. I mean, it's right there, under his bunk in the den. What did he expect? <sighs> you what the others have been Seems saying like a about pretty the normal kid, actually. You're kidding me, right? Tin soldiers in devil suits and you lose your nerve? Those Enclave troops are a choke. Yeah, yeah, we've handled worse before, right? See, I knew you'd cheer me up. Thanks. Tell you what, let's hook up later and go see Scribe Bowditch. I hear he's been working on some new power armor mods. Can't hurt. Sure. Oh, hi, you're the Squire, aren't you? H Hail to you, stranger. I am Squire Maxon, loyal servant of steel. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. You seem nervous, kid. Do I make you nervous? Well, yes, sir. If I may speak my will, you do, sort of. We do not have many guests in the Citadel. And when we do, they're usually visiting brothers. Outsiders are not to be trusted, so says the Codex. Shield yourself from those not bound to you by steel, for they are the blind. Aid them when you can. 
but lose not sight of yourself. Oh, so you follow the Brotherhood Codex, uh, not the Lines Doctrine. Uh, that's not good. But, uh, hey, there's no need to be nervous. You can trust outsiders. I'm, I'm not here to just, uh, kill you, you know? Yeah. It's not personal. Anybody who has not taken the oath of fraternity is suspicious to us. The Codex says, Fear those who do not pledge to the Brotherhood, for their eyes may be opened through service. They are now blind. But it also tells us, Give way your suspicions to the wisdom of thine elder. Where he shows trust, so shall you. Elder lions trust you, so you are free to stay here. Yeah, because the elders have all the power, right? Aren't you a little young to have the Codex memorized so much? Oh, well, you see, I am descended from the great Roger Maxon, founder of our order. I am the last of his line. They say my soul was forged from eternal steel, but I don't believe that. I'm really just a normal boy. I was sent to the Citadel many years ago to be fostered by Elder Lions, but that was before the Western Elders lost... Um, Faith in the Elder. I really don't know if I'll ever get home, but, well, I kind of like it here. Sentinel Lyanth has been very kind to me. She's taught me so much. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, so what do you make of the Enclave, Squire? You're asking me what I think about the Enclave? Well, the Brotherhood of Steel has actually faced the Enclave before. Back west, more than 30 years ago according to our chronicles. Judging from those records, I say their soldiers are outfitted in advanced power armor Mark II. It's pretty strong. Better than our power armor. And some of their technology is amazing. Vertibirds, plasma weapons that can turn a man to goo. Does that help? <laughs> well, I just wanted to know what you thought. I don't suppose you know anything about the super mutants. Oh, yes. I've studied them quite a bit since I've been here. They're not all the same, you know, besides the regular ones. There are also brutes, and after them, the masters. They're really tough. But the worst of all? The behemoth! He's a giant! I saw one once, outside the Citadel walls. So scary. The super mutants are all over the city ruins. But Elder Lions doesn't actually think they're from there, or we would have found their home by now. It kind of seems like they're looking for something, but we're not really sure what that is. Wow, you seem to know more than a lot of people around here about the super mutants. Looking for something, hmm? I'll keep that in mind. They don't actually make you fight, do they? No. But I could. I know I'm ready. I mean, it would be scary, but... It's not fair that I have to sit inside while the knights go on patrol. I did go out one time, you know. Sarah, um, Sentinel Lions took me out, just to show me. I killed a super mutant too, I swear. I, uh, I also sort of shot Sarah, but just a little. It was just a flesh wound. Wow, you've already killed a super mutant at this age? Wow, uh, work on your aim, I guess. Very well. Hail. Another glorious day in this man's army. Hey. I remember from that vision the man that that boy becomes. Their elder turned the Brotherhood into a fascist authoritarian regime. Even after his death, his visage would never disappear. I have to kill him, but I, I can't. I, I can't do it right now. I, I, I need the Brotherhood. I need to stay on their good side for now. He's just a kid. He could change. Maybe as long as he's in the Brotherhood, he won't, but I have to hope, right? I have to hope. Hey, let me ask you something. Yes? Does this sound noble enough? 
Quail before me, foul supermutant. Thine end is at hand. Yield that I may ease thine suffering. What are you doing? I've been practicing. Come on, we're a knightly order, right? I figure we should speak the part. I want to sound like Elder Lyons. Elder Lyons does not sound like that. You're an idiot. Fine, I'll practice on someone else. Thanks for nothing. Oh, <laughs> I needed that. I needed that. <sighs> that was funny. I'll talk to Maxon hey, again after this whole enclave business to see how he's changed. But for now, I'll leave him alone. Oh shit, it's Lion's Terminal. Squire Maxon Progress Report. Squire Maxon's training is proceeding well, and the boy certainly has an aptitude for small arms, but I often worry about his emotional state. He is a child surrounded by killers, being groomed to become a killer himself. Maybe I've become too cynical, too soft in my old age, but I wish I could give the boy a more normal childhood. Ironic, considering his upbringing is so much like my own. Maybe that's what scares me. <sighs> Hardship in youth can sometimes make someone turn out incredibly kind, but sometimes it does just the opposite. Sarah's birthday. I mustn't forget Sarah's birthday this year. Perhaps I'll send Cross to Rivet City to peruse the shops and pick something up. Something pretty. Sarah may have forgotten she's a woman, but I haven't. And neither have the rest of the brothers, judging by the looks they give her. Safe lock override. Oh, I wonder what's in the safe. Ooh, personal log of his. According to our latest reconnaissance report, Enclave soldiers have taken complete control of the Project Purity facility. They brutally murdered innocent scientists, including James. He went there to revive the project and died for his efforts. They will answer for their crimes I haven't worked so hard just to sit idly by and watch the Enclave undo what little we've accomplished here. Ah, <sighs> that's unfortunate. Okay, I gotta know what's going on in here. Wait, T60 power armor? Here I sit in the safety of the Citadel, while the people of the Wasteland thirst and suffer and die. Here I sit a failed, feeble old man. What have I really accomplished? How many have I truly helped? The super mutants still roam rampant, the people still die of thirst and radiation. The Western so, Elders cease to acknowledge it? my existence. Some of my own people situation. have even gone outcast. Look, the Enclave has and the now the Enclave, the but technologically the superior, I don't think so. infinitely resourceful. We'll true. Yeah, the time yeah, has come to pass before, the mantle right? to more See, able hands. Up, but Listen, is let's she Let's talk ready? about this some more later, okay? I have a decent tactical plan I can run by you. Hmm. Poor man. I don't think the position of Elder should exist. But Owen Lyons is a good man. Elder Lyons, it has been brought to our attention that a large stash of T-60 power armor is out there somewhere in what was the Columbia Commonwealth. 
I understand the Paladins have been asking for T-51 for the longest time, that power armor that was said to be the pride of America before the Great War. However, said armor seems to be extremely elusive to find because of how heavily it was deployed overseas. We may be able to skip the need to locate T-51 entirely if we can locate this stash of T-60. Apparently, they were distributed to military personnel on the day of the Great War, much like the infamous Nuka-Cola Quantum. Under normal circumstances, T-60 would be even rarer than T-51, but if we can secure this stash, the day may come where we can outfit all of the knights and paladins with a power armor unrivaled by anyone we may ever meet, outperforming any wastelander who somehow manages to get their hands on T-45, what we are currently stuck using. When the intel for the T-60 stash was found, we also found one suit of T-60 itself, I advise you to hide it in your safe, lest an overly zealous paladin become jealous. Scribe Rothschild. Huh, T-60. Maxon's Brotherhood will use this. I- I better keep it. Sure. Uh, Cross, do you think you could hold on to it for me? It's kinda heavy. I could trust you, right? There is a foul stench on the wind. Let us not tarry for long. In the words of Elder Theus, a brother well equipped is a brother keeping to his duty. Oh wow, this armor has a white paint job. It's clearly never been used. Uh, let's go. Lead the way. What's your tactical assessment of this new, uh, situation? Oh, hi! Hail, Outsider. I am Scribe Jameson. Word of your ordeal has spread. I am truly sorry for the loss of your father. But if I can help you in any way, please let me know. Oh, thanks. I, uh, had some questions about the Brotherhood. Ah, one of my favorite subjects, of course. What would you like to know? What does the Brotherhood actually believe? We believe in technology, in the triumph of the creations of the ancients, over the horrors and evils of the wasteland. We believe in trust. Trust in technology. Trust in our fellow brothers. Trust in our elders. Ah, and we believe in victory. Our forces have dwindled, but still we fight on. Super mutant, enclave, it matters not. Surrender is not an option. Who are the members of the Brotherhood? Elder Lyons leads us. Star Paladin Cross is his Seneschal. Sentinel Lyons, the Elder's daughter, commands the Lion's Pride, our elite combat squad. The Paladins lead the Knights. The Knights are the core of the Brotherhood. They scour the waste to eliminate evil and recover technology. Scribe Rothschild oversees the Scribes in their duties to seek knowledge and restore the technology the Brotherhood has acquired. Okay, what... what about the Brotherhood's history in this area? We first arrived in the Capital Wasteland in 2255. In those first couple of years, we discovered the Citadel, Super Mutants, and Project Purity. Ah, the Purifier. What an undertaking. The work your father and his team did was... amazing. The Brotherhood helped protect them, you know. At least for a little while. But we were stretched thin as it was, even back then. We had to pull our forces out. When we did, the place was overrun. I imagine that's when your father left. I... I'm sorry. I wish things had turned out differently. Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, that's all I needed to know about the Brotherhood. Very well. I actually found this hollow tag. What should I do with it? You have? Oh my. This brings to light a sad affair for the Brotherhood, but perhaps it is something that you can assist us with. If you have the time, I have an offer for you. Sure, I've got all the time in the world, I guess. Good. As I'm sure you've noticed, the Brotherhood operates all over the DC ruins, often detached from the main base here at the Citadel. We're short on communication equipment, so many of the groups in the field operate as independent cells, with outstanding orders. Sometimes, I'm afraid that their missions end in their deaths. As Keeper of the Scrolls, it's my charge to write of each fallen brother's deeds. 
Oh, I see. And without radio equipment, you can't keep track of them. Exactly. A brother fallen in the field may have no one to carry word of his death back to me. In calmer times, we could send detachments and messengers to learn their fates. But with our manpower stretched thin, we have no such luxury. Which is why I must now ask you for your help. Each brother wears a holotag like the one you found. Should you find any of the fallen brethren in the field, I ask that you return their tags to me, so that I might record their deeds in the scrolls. All right. Uh, what are the scrolls that you mentioned? Scrolls are kept by the head librarian of each Brotherhood bunker. The scrolls are a record of the Brotherhood itself. Into each scroll is written the name and deeds of each of our brothers. Battles, what technology is recovered, when he was promoted, everything. The last entry for each brother is that brother's death. It is important, as the way a man dies is just as important as the manner in which he lives. And so, each man who nobly serves the Brotherhood ascends into our history to be remembered by those who come after him. I guess that's good if the Brotherhood as an organization does good. It's a big if. Uh, where can I find hollow tags? They are on our fallen brothers throughout the DC ruins. However, I can't give you a full report on the locations of all of our operations. As I said, many of the units in the field operate independently, sometimes not reporting into the Citadel for weeks or months. Well, why can't you send your own people to find the holotacks? As I told you, with the increase in super mutant activity and Elder Lion's edicts regarding our goals, we are critically short on manpower. Any soldier that I would ask to do this task is one less soldier fighting in the field or defending the Citadel. As much as I hate to involve outsiders, it is necessary if I am to properly maintain the scrolls to honor the dead. I guess that makes sense. Do I get a reward for bringing these in? We have access to a great deal of technology, and because of that, there are a number of things that we can continue to produce. I will be able to offer you caps for the tags you bring me, but from time to time, I will be able to give you something a bit more interesting. All right, uh, could I ask about the tags again? Yes, what about them? I've actually found some. Have you? It saddens me to hear of my fallen brethren, but their names and deeds shall be records. Tell me, how many have you found? Wow, I've got more than five. Uh, here, just take them all. Their names shall be written into the scrolls, to be remembered forever. As for you, here's your reward. Use it well and in good health. Uh, thanks. So why don't you tell me a little bit about the scribes? Well, there are a number of orders within the scribes, each dedicated to a specific area of research. Oh, I heard about that. Could you tell me what the orders are again? The Order of the Sword is responsible for weapons research and development. Guns, ammunition, anything of an offensive nature. Defensive research is done by the Order of the Shield. Power armor, defensive structures, anything that is intended to protect us. The Order of the Quill preserves the written knowledge of the ancients, seeking out all manner of books and tapes. Your Order of the Quill, right? Actually, I am Proctor of the Order of the Quill. I oversee the archives and library here in the Citadel. We are dedicated to preserving the history of the Brotherhood, as well as unearthing the secrets of the pre-war civilizations. We have a single field associate, Scribe Yearling. She operates out of the former Library of Congress to the Northeast. Oh, yeah. I remember her. I met her. That's all I needed. Let me know if you need something else. So, any thoughts on the Enclave? Quite a few. But most are distinctly unladylike and unworthy of discussion. I will tell you that the Brotherhood has encountered the Enclave before, and their motives were just as sinister then as they are now. Come on, Jameson. Fuck the Enclave and fuck being ladylike about f fucking the Enclave. <sighs> Care to share anything about the Super Mutants? The Brotherhood has been battling Super Mutants for decades. First out west, then in Chicago, now here. But this group of Super Mutants is different somehow. 
Physically, yes, but mentally as well. If we knew where they came from, we'd know why. Hmm, you're not wrong. Most of these super mutants don't talk. You know, I know you're busy, but could I ask you a personal question? Okay, go ahead. Did anyone ever tell you how beautiful you are? Yeah, but thanks. Is service to the Brotherhood as rewarding as it is demanding? Absolutely. I figured. You know, responsibility is stressful. Posing you for my magazine would relax you. Do you have any idea what it would do to my reputation if word got around? There's no stigma. Trust me, other respectable women have posed for me. Even Sarah Lyons agreed to do it. Ah, yes. I was wondering when you'd try me. Sounds good. Great. Can you take some leave and meet me at my studio? Of course I can. Oh, hon, hold on. Note. She gave me this note. Scribe Jameson's report to Elder Lyons. From Scribe Elizabeth Jameson to Elder Lyons. Elder, I have read the recent reports on the number of paladins and knights that have not reported and when expected. I understand the chaotic nature of the situation in the field, but tradition demands that each brother who falls in battle have their death recorded in the scrolls. To not put forward our best efforts to recover proof of who has fallen and who has lived is unthinkable. I understand that every brother is needed for the efforts here at the Citadel and in the city nearby. To that end, I intend to contract with outsiders in order to recover proof of which of our brethren have fallen to the enemy. I will ask that they recover dog tags from any fallen brother that they find. It is the least we can do without the resources for a full and honorable funeral for them. You needn't worry about providing rewards for these contractors. I will pay them from my personal funds. It is well worth it to me to be able to both keep the tradition and not stress the resources for your mission. Yours in steel, Scribe Elizabeth Jameson, Head Librarian, Order of the Quill, DC Bunker. Oh, if I had known it was your personal money, I wouldn't have taken it. I thought it was Level just from the Brotherhood. Combat does not take <sighs> place in the brain. It is... Hey, that's what I'm here. Okay, is there anyone to talk to up here? Hundred-year-old Salisbury snake. Are you hungry for some news? I'm guessing news. <laughs> here you go. Lordy, I just love that vault girl. Hold dweller one day, paragon of all that is good and right in the world the next. And she's been busy. I've gotten word that a band of mercs called Riley's Rangers were trapped on a DC rooftop, pinned down by super mutants. It would seem that a brave soldier hey. named Theo oh, was we lost already in the heard line this of duty. One. As you were. Oh, I should go talk to the I door guards. Speak the part. I want to sound like El That power armor hurts my eyes. Hi! Have a nice day. You again. State your business and be quick about it. Uh, I'm gonna leave since you're pointing that gun at me. Steel be with you. Stand down, civilian. Who are you? Hello. The name's Steven. I'm an initiate of the Brotherhood. Still in training. They got you on door guard duty? You look kinda young. Yeah, I may be young, but I can kick ass. In fact, I've already got some missions on my to-do list. Wanna come along? Sounds like a plan. Awesome. First thing on the list is to re-establish connections through the MDPL Mass Relay Station. There are some raiders there, so be careful. Uh, alright. We'll head there soon. Have a nice day. I should probably get back in here and talk to Rothschild. Uh, hey, Rothschild. 
Did you have any success with that old terminal? Vault 87 has a geck, but I don't know where it is. Ah, well, that much I believe I can help with. Step over here for a moment. I'll show you where it is. All right. You got a map? Power systems are 90% at startup, but are running at 37% efficiency after coming fully online. I'm looking into what might be causing the leak. So, what's the latest report? Enclave troops have fortified the purifier complex. With those vertebrates, they're able to transport personnel at a remarkable rate. Hmm. All right. Thanks for the information. This map shows the locations of all known vaults in the local area. Vault 87 has been highlighted for you. There. Entrance to Vault 87 will be particularly difficult for you, I'm afraid. Why? What's difficult about it? The area is highly irradiated. Lethal levels are all around the entrance. Gaining direct access will be quite impossible. Well, how do I get through the radiation? Quite simply, you don't. To attempt such a thing would be certain death for you. Well, there's got to be another way. You share your father's determination, it seems. And in this case, you are correct. There may well be another way. Vault 87 is located very close to the site of Lamplight Caverns. It is entirely probable that the vault may be entered from within the caves. That makes sense. Vault 18 was connected to the local caves, although there wasn't a way out, but maybe there is this time. Well, I guess I'll have to go find out. I'll go there myself. The Brotherhood simply cannot spare the resources necessary to investigate the area. Perhaps you may be more successful. If you do find anything, please return here so that we may decide how best to proceed. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Thanks for your help. I wish we could do more, but the Brotherhood potentially faces a very pressing, very real threat in the Enclave. All of my efforts must now be devoted to assessing the threat they may pose to us. I'm sure you understand. Yeah, I understand. They're quite the threat. Huh. Helping the people of the wasteland is This shows where all the vaults are. The There's 87. That's a ways away. All right. Yes. What is it? Where was Vault 87 again? Check the map in the lab for reference if you like. The vault is to the west of the city, far out in the capital wasteland. Remember that you won't be able to just walk in due to the radiation. You'll have to try and find another way to access the vault. I expect that Lamplight Caverns is your best chance for success. All right, thanks. Bye. Don't hurry back. Hail. All right, so where's that Hail. quartermaster? Hi. Hey. I received word from Elder Lyons. He says that you have permission to trade with us. Good for you. Thank you. Can I see what you have to trade? Sure. Just be quick about it. Oh, well, I only have so much Brotherhood script, but I want this Fat Man modification. Try not to break it, outsider. Uh, could you repair my gear, actually? If you want to pay for the parts, yes. I mean, I don't mind. You know what, I think I'm good. You know, this is a dull assignment. You should get out, do something exciting. You're right, but I can't. Why not? I'm sure you do some leave, and I know how you can spend it. I'm listening. I run a magazine. The models have fun and get a lot of attention. Sound good? You go do what you have to. I don't want to watch that. But you wouldn't be watching. You'd be a model. I see. Oh, come on. You might get to be a little naughty on film. I don't know if the Brotherhood would approve, but maybe that just makes it all the more exciting. Suit yourself.
the people of the wasteland is of the utmost to the Lion's Doctrine. Yes, and this is how we do it, Star Paladin Cross. We need to talk, Larry. No conversation begun with that phrase has ever been good. What's troubling you? You know I'm no stranger to violence. That's why you hired me. But what you did to those people, it's inhuman. I'm not exactly human. Or had you forgotten? That's not what I mean, and you know it. Why didn't you just kill them and be done with it? It was revenge for Stony, wasn't it? You're still not over that. She's been dead 200 years. There's no need to be jealous. If you're not going to take this seriously, I'm out of here. To protect someone you love, ruthless is okay. Bloodthirsty isn't ever. I thought I knew which you were, but now I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I'm not entirely sure myself. That's not exactly what I wanted to hear, but at least you admit it. I think I need to be alone for a while. I'll see you later. Oh, Malibu, hey. You were mad at Larry for the unethical treatment of those prisoners. I'm totally with you. That was not okay. Hey, if you have medics or something for the lab, could you take it down? I'm feeling kind of out of it. Yeah, you two were together, weren't you? It's okay. If you want to talk or anything, please let me know. Thanks. I'll see you later. Wait, wait. Hey. Why didn't you just come with me? Bad Moon Malibu is a super mutant's worst nightmare. You know what? I could use some fresh air. Only one problem. I sold my combat armor when I took this job. Didn't show enough leg. Do you have something I could borrow? No, but when's the last time you went shopping? My treat. That'll work. Let's go. Larry. It's good to see you. What do you need? Can I ask you something about Malibu? You can ask. You might get better answers directly from her. What's the deal anyway? Were Are you lovers or were you? <sighs> no restoration of lollipops would be complete without the paparazzi. You may have your work cut out for you, though. Three Dog seems entirely disinterested in speculation about who I am or am not sleeping with. Seriously, was she just a trophy date? Or were you only with her because she reminded you of Stony? It doesn't seem like you really cared about her. She reminds me more of Dee. Her beauty and cheerful demeanor belie a sharp mind and an iron will. You actually remind me more of Stony. Really? How so? Her battles were in the courtroom, of course, but she faced merciless opponents who wished our destruction. And no matter the odds, she always managed to prevail. Were you and Stony just friends, or more than that? That was the one luxury we could not afford. Our respective reputations were central to our success. A romantic relationship would have irreparably damaged her credibility as an attorney, and my credibility as a moral deviant. Hey, you know Malibu likes you, right? You can't just let her walk out of your life. Do what it takes to get her back. Make up for the wrongs you have done. I admire your passion, but any contrition on my part must not only seem sincere, it must be sincere, and I believe both will take some time. If you really mean that, I can put in a good word for you. I appreciate the offer, but I would prefer you did not. At least, not until I'm certain I deserve a good word. All right, then I guess we'll see. For now, she'll be coming with me. Au revoir. Oh, the next issue's done. Stella's great on the cover. And Fantasia does well in the middle. Cherry is a great finisher. All right, might as well get the next issue set up. I think I am going to do a brotherhood issue. So let's see, definitely Sarah Lyons on the cover. She 
she's literally like one of the most famous people in the Capital Wasteland. Night Captain Dusk for the foreplay model. And I think Quartermaster Durga would be good for the big finish. All right, there we go. Let's see what Larry thinks about that. Wait a minute. Lab request pending. Oh, sensor modules. Oh, that's... That's cool. It tells me what the lab needs. I'll be sure if I find any sensor modules to bring them down. He must be down here in the vault somewhere. Oh, hi. What do you need? I actually had an idea to help the research. You're the intellectual type, eh? Perhaps you should cross-circuit to B. I'll try that. All right, thanks. Uh, you know, I know you're busy, but can I ask you a personal question? Okay, go ahead. Did anyone ever tell you how beautiful you are? You're a real charmer. Is service to the community as rewarding as it is demanding? Physically, yes, but mentally as well. Yeah, responsibility is stressful. You know, posing you for my magazine would relax you. It's right upstairs. Do you have any idea what it would do to my reputation if word got around? Oh, come on. There's no stigma. Other respectable women have posed for me. You should know that. Ah, yes. I was wondering when you'd try me. Sounds good. All right, great. Can you take a break and come up to the studio? Of course I can. Hey, you're supposed to get naked. All right, thanks, Lily. Oh, there you are. You're in the old lab. It's good to see you. What do you need? So you moved back into your old office? Yes. Recent events have inspired me to a bit of introspection. I've often considered writing a memoir. This seems like an opportune time. Are you sure you're okay? This seems pretty far from the action. Never better. Now that the business is in capable hands, I have time for other projects, that's all. You know, you've been alone for decades at a stretch. She isn't going to wait that long. I do realize that decades would be too long to wait. I also realize that a few days would not be long enough. Well, good luck with the memoir. See you later. Thank you. Drop in any time. It's good to see you. What do you need? Uh, I actually needed to talk about the layout. Excellent. Unless there's anything else, I'll send it to the print shop. All right. I'll get started immediately. Yeah, thank you. It's good to see you. What do you need? Could I ask you something personal about your condition? Absolutely. Understanding is the antidote to prejudice. You know, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you what it's like being a ghoul, particularly in the sex business. It's weird. You look like a buffet for microbes, but you don't smell decomposed. Ferals allow necrotic tissue to accumulate and decay. It's repulsive. Most of us who've not lost the power of reason also retain an appreciation of personal hygiene. Oh, interesting. So ghoulification doesn't make you in any way dirtier. Good to know. Is it true that ghouls can't reproduce? We're sterile, yes. But the relevant organs remain completely functional in all other respects. At least in my case. Well, with ghoul skin, do you still have nerve endings? Can you still feel things? With major stimuli, there's little difference. A massage is still pleasurable. Being struck with a blunt instrument is still not. The loss of fine sensitivity might be an impediment for a safe cracker, but in my profession... Well, in my day, actors applied synthetic compounds to avoid overstimulation and extend the duration of a performance. Suffice it to say, ghouls rarely suffer from premature ejaculation. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. 
Anyway, let's uh, talk about something else. It was distressing when I was younger. At my current age, it seems immeasurably preferable to the alternative. You mean death? Actually, could we talk about something else? It's important. By all means. Look, I'm pretty sure Malibu still likes you. And you really hurt her. I still think you're a huge jerk, but for some reason she likes you anyway. You're just really going to have to beg if you want her back, okay? After much introspection, I ask that you trust my judgment on this. While I regret putting the lab in danger, I do not regret reciprocating the injustice perpetrated by Agent Brucker and his kind. As I feel no remorse, I cannot in good conscience ask for absolution. She will forgive me in her own time, or not at all. You're an arrogant fool, Larry. It's not about whether they were bad people. It's about whether you are. I'm gonna go. You do the same. And Malibu's coming with me. Hey Malibu, how are you doing? You okay? If we're not leaving soon, I should get back to work. Hold on, I'm just gonna talk to some people. Good times. Hey, Bear. Yeah? Hey, so I've seen the lab. I guess you knew about it. So what do you think? Honestly, I'd rather be funding a research institution than a corporate business, so I think it's good. You can count on my continued support. Thanks! You've given us a chance to hope again. All right, I gotta go. What are you hanging around here for? I don't know. Oh, hey, how are you doing, Chaz? Nice hat. Hello there, honey. I hope you still like whiskey, because I got you a bottle. I just wanted to let you know I reserved some special time for you. You know, as a thank you for all you've done for me. All right, sure. Uh, later then? Take care, sugar. <laughs>